Well, good afternoon, and thank you all for being here. I want to especially thank the women around this table who are joining me today in this discussion of what we need to do to remake Ohio, remake America, and get people working again here in our community. You know, we're starting this uh, new administration, and uh, my first uh, weeks in Congress facing a very bleak economic situation, frankly the bleakest that we have seen in decades since World War II or even the Great Depression. And we need to take on this task of cleaning up the mess that the Bush administration left us. And in order to do that, and do that in a way that is effective and valuable for the people of the 15th Congressional District, I want to hear from them. I want to hear what people are facing in their own family lives, what the different parts of our community are facing, because I know that I'll make the best decisions if I carry with me the very personal concerns of the people of Ohio 15. And when I'm making decisions on critical pieces of legislation, it's you know not the Washington lobbyists I want to keep in the forefront of my mind. It's people like the women that we have here today, what they have to say, what their family's concerns are. You know, right now, unemployment in Ohio is, is very high. It's over 7.2%, uh, rising nearly 2% in Ohio every year. And I know that our confidence is a bit shaken right now as we have faced this unemployment issue, the loss of jobs, loss of people's homes, the loss of their health care, the diminishment in value in their pension funds. So. We need to address these issues in Congress. And so today, uh, as part of taking on that task, my first priority is to listen to three of my constituents here uh, so I can get good information from them to make good decisions for all of us. So we will hear their stories about their families, about the issues facing their loss of homes or loss of health care or loss of jobs. And I know these are problems that they're not alone with. These are problems facing Main Street USA. And so I want to make sure that people in this district understand that this is going to be Congress that's going to put them first. On Tuesday, I was very happy to hear that President Barack Obama is uh, telling all of us that we can pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off and start all over again and begin the work of remaking America again. So this is a Remake Ohio and Remake America. Let's start here, right now, here at our Northside li Library. Now, you know, as we make these ideas um, come to life, come put some flesh and bones on these ideas of how we do just that, we need to make sure that America knows about it. We need to make sure that it is, in the vocabulary of the day, transparent. And that is part of being accountable to the public for how our dollars are spent, how our investments are made. And I want to make sure that we are transparent, that people know what we are doing, and that that means that the people can hold us accountable to make sure that these solutions work. And that Congress will be asking the administration to hold itself accountable to make sure that we are getting reports that because of the investments we are making that people's lives are actually improving. So I know that we have a lot to um, address here as part of this work. Uh, we can focus on technology, broadband access for the district, um, modernizing our energy, conserving energy so we can lower costs for people in this community, lowering costs for health care making sure that people can afford to go to college and um, that our colleges and universities and our K-12 through schools as well have the money they need to make sure that our children are educated and ready for the challenges facing them ahead. A reco this recovery won't happen overnight, so we do need to be taking a look at not just today's problems, but looking ahead to the future. That means looking ahead to what our children need. Now, let's take this crisis as an opportunity. Let's take it as, and you know, we have the crisis, so let's use it to put America 
on the path to a long-term and sustainable economy and long-term and sustainable growth and prosperity. So I want to thank uh, Elizabeth and Duchess and Susan for joining me here today. I want to hear their challenges. And I also want to give a message to the constituents of Ohio 15 that I want to hear from them too. And they can call the office here in the district, call my office in Washington. They can email us because I want to hear their concerns as well. So while we are here today listening to Elizabeth and Duchess and Susan, I want to hear from all of you too.